Good evening everyone, Anthwolf here, streaming live on Twitch. And we are here with session 3 of the casting of Frank Stone. When we last left off, we had some unfortunate events, <laughs> to say the least. Our ragtag group who were filming their amateur horror movie, um... Well, found some of the souvenirs of Frank Stone and somehow brought him back into being in some form of apparition. In so doing, Chris, the director, got sucked into a rift and is now likely part of the Entity's realm. I may went to go save her and ended up into, well, various chunks, to say the least. The rest of the crew managed to escape, but we are not out of danger yet. We have now jumped over and back to 2024. Uh, back within Augustine's Manor, where we just discovered that the former sheriff of Cedar Hills has also made his way over to London, to Augustine's Manor for some reason. So, let us continue and see what the hell he's doing here. Miss Castle. Once so again, we have enabled Twitch integration functionality. What the hell are you doing here? The film strip. Do you have it? <clears throat> hey, slow down. Uh, excuse me, just who are you exactly? Yeah, why'd you come and swing and if you just want to talk? You keep your lying mouth shut and mind your own business. Sam, do I have to mind my own business too, or are you just talking to Stan's lying mouth? Maddie, this is Sam Green, Sheriff of Cedar Hills. Don't think you got much jurisdiction here, Pops. Former Sheriff. Why are you here? You know damn well why I'm here. Well, I must have forgotten. Oh, <laughs> well, isn't that nice for you? Because I just can't seem to stop cleaning up after your little problem child. Wait, are you talking about the film? Is he talking about the film? Oh, it was a bad move coming here, Linda. That cursed thing should have stayed forgotten. Oh, it's going to spell the end of this world. Maybe even every other. Uh, would you like to explain? I mean, we kind of know what's up, but Linda... What the hell does Sam know? Okay, Sam. You're not making a lot of sense. Are you sure you're okay? You're too old to be running around like a secret agent. I'm in the best shape of my life. And everything I'm telling you is true. All of this is because of what happened back in Cedar Hills. What's happening then, right now. Uh, don't you understand what I'm saying? I... No. I'm sorry. <sighs> Just tell me you still have your piece of the film. Yeah, I still have it. And them? We've all got our pieces. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> and at least I'm not too late. <laughs> but Augustine has made us all an offer. And you turned her down. Right?
Um, I don't even know what she was offering. She didn't say any... She didn't offer us any numbers. I don't think. Also, is the mask of Frank Castle missing? We haven't committed to anything yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> then we can work with this. Now, if we play our cards right, we might still have a chance to fix it. Linda, what is this guy talking about? The film strip you're carrying pieces of all around with you. It's part of a movie Linda made with her friends. With my son! But it's not just a film. It's, it's a prison. Something far older. Something more powerful than anything humanity's ever conceived. It's, it's pure, malignant corruption, and it's... Hunger is unbounding. Oh, okay, Sam. <laughs> Laying it on a bit thick, aren't you? That's pretty rich coming from you, Mr. Stanford. Hold on. You guys know each other? Uh, unfortunately, I have been on the receiving end of the former sheriff's outlandish claims and dramatic interjections for quite some time now. <laughs> Dude is a walking mess. Uh. I gotta hand it to you. You are looking better than the last time I saw you, yeah? Who's your guy? Did this charlatan tell you how he manipulated my son and stole his piece of the film when Robert was in a very vulnerable place in his life? I do my business on the level. I'm not out there sneaking around in the dark like some grubby little crook. <sighs> Fuck this! I'm done with your shit, man. The mask is definitely missing. Uh, should we go after him? Why don't you go keep an eye on Stan? I'll stay here. All that stuff he was saying, is he for real? I don't know. But I don't think anybody should be wandering off alone right now. Was this locked before? Oh, the help. Stan has just disappeared around the corner. Yeah, the uh, there was a statue that was holding the mask, the helmet of Frank Stone. Along with two or three other masks. And yet yeah, that mask was missing here in Chapter 8. Or I could be going crazy, but I'm pretty sure I'm not. Hey! Hey, hold up a sec! Stan! Before we catch up with Stan, let's just have a peek around everywhere else. There's a doorbell? On the wall, maybe? Hmm. Oh, well. Ah, well, let's follow Stan. Oh, hey, it is that the, the TV from Madison's... Nightmare? Where'd he go? Augustine must have a hell of a lot of secrets with this many locks. Why is this here? Oh, it's a curiosity shop. Oh! 
and the mana has rearranged itself. Great. Great. Just what I needed. In fact, we are... Is that a balcony? Oh, yeah, it must be a balcony. I thought we were on the lower level for a moment there. Oh, we have this... The entity kind of tentacles once again engraved in the woodwork. Still locked, fair enough. Okay, this took us back. Dan! Oh, this would normally have taken us back to the Requillery. Oh. Oh. Form of pentagram. Oh, God, the occult. Just what I need. Oh, people being taken by the entity. Great, 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 great. statue missing its head. Oh, a bust. Missing its head. Oh! What the heck is this place? Is this the temporal device? That's Chris. Who's in there? So we have something here. I always knew every super rich asshole had a room like this in your house. What do we? Actually get in. some sort of pattern. I don't know if I should be playing with this. I really need to shut this thing down. Okay, that made something happen. That's good. <laughs> That's good. We think. Help me! Please, Seems like the Hold scene on. from uh, 13 Ghosts. Ring thingies to go. 
Okay, so it's rearranged itself. Oh, okay, we need to be in line with the outside. Right, so that's fine. Um, yeah. No, no, back, 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 back. To a good old fashioned on off switch. I really hope this is a uh, okay. One more to go. Doing the right thing. Right, so we need to rearrange the outside first. We, if we had left things as they were, something else was going to happen. Something probably not necessarily good. Hey, Chris. Welcome to 2024. Meanwhile, back in 1980. Oh, it's going to be weird when Chris and Linda meet again. Are you all right? Whoa. Oh. Oh. What's wrong, young man? Uh, nothing. I... Uh... Let me help you. I'm fine. It's nothing. But you look as if something. I'm just looking for my dad. Uh, the sheriff? The sheriff? Yeah. Have you seen him? Oh, well, uh, yes. Uh, where? Here and there, now and then. He does have a way of showing up in the strangest of places. Wait, how long ago was he here? Just, just now or what? Uh, it was more than a minute, less than a lifetime. <laughs> sure. Okay, thanks. The pleasure was all mine. I'll be sure to tell him you're looking for him. Yeah, Augustine being a creepy woman again. Oh! Oh! That was a very short. Pretty sure they came down this way. Yum. I uh, wouldn't be sure of anything in this place. How did she get you here, Linda? What did she offer you? Uh, you know, you still haven't answered any of my questions.
Sorry, Sheriff. I think you still owe me some answers. <laughs> and how's that? You're acting like a lunatic. Sneaking around? Attacking people? That's not the Sam Green I know. People change. Over time. The only time I ever saw you even close to this intense was when you caught Chris and Jaime and me at the mill. Ah, uh, yeah. I uh, thought I was being too hard on you at the time. But knowing what I know now, I'm glad I broke your camera. But you never broke our camera. <laughs> well, of course I... You're not okay, are you? I'm getting old. Memory's not what it used to be. No, well, we dropped it in surprise, didn't we? Well, oh, Chris dropped it in surprise. I think it was Chris anyway. Could have been Linda. Are we going to end up what in What did you mean when you said all of this is because of Cedar Hills? I said it's because of what happened in Cedar Hills. And what's still happening right now. What's happening right now? What happened back then? Kids making Super 8 movies? In the mill? The mill's been gone for years. I told you I don't count years anymore. Oh, Jesus, come on, Sam. You haven't been straight with me since the second you got here. I hate to break it to you, but that's all I've been. To be fair to Sam, Linda did have the apparition of Frank Stone chasing her. Unless she's blocked that memory out, something happened to her maybe? She's certainly seen some of the supernatural herself. What is it? Oh, nothing. Nothing. I'm fine. Uh, uh, Find him all in. Gotta find him before his, his skies are folding in again and it's uh, uh. Um Tyree might have answers. The pouch might have a weapon, but I'd rather try to get the answers. Oh shit! Didn't expect that. You don't seem okay. We gotta find Augustine. Now. I think you should take a minute. I'll be fine. Now, are you gonna help me find Augustine, or are you just gonna get in my way? Um... Look, I took a peek at your journal. I couldn't really make heads or tails. I'm sure that's not gonna help our relationship, but I'd rather tell him to see if he'll tell us anything else. I looked at your journal. What? The things you wrote. You're not well. You need help. I need your help. Right now. I I'll help you, okay? But you gotta promise me you'll see someone when this is over. Sure. Promise me. I promise. Oh. Um, Sam? Now Sam's gone. Sam. Great. Sam? Everyone's disappearing. Hello? We've all split up there. 
Is this? Oh, okay. Where, where the hell did you go? Where? Sam, totally come lost. on. Sheriff Green. Oh, I am totally in the dark. Sam. Oh, are we? For a moment, I thought we were back in the steel mill. A lot of film here. This is certainly something. Oh. The murder mine, not the murder mill. Huh. Yeah, an alternate version. Theater carnage blamed on sick flick. A, a screening of the film Murder Mill? Wait, this screening never happened. What is this? Are we talking about different worlds? Alternative versions of things that did or did not happen? That doesn't seem to be from this time or place. We have a grate there. Bonnie didn't act in this scene. It was Chris. It was Chris. This isn't right. <sighs> okay, that is not what we shot. Well, we have seen that face before from Madison's Nightmare. Murder Mill, Terror, and then a series of numbers. How many Earths has Augustine traveled to? It's not just time, but space. Are all these films Murder Mill? Yeah, Terra 6113. Ah, ah. Relax. What are you doing? That letter's private. It's got nothing to do with you. Wait. Something about Augustine and Sam are, are part of two rival factions? We didn't have a chance to read that. Too too quick. Who is Logan Chen? Linda. Don't you fucking lie to me. But when I stopped Frank Stone in the still mill, back in 1963, I thought that'd be the end of it. But ever since, 
Not a thing in my world has made sense. In any other, either. Everything, all of this, leads back to that night. And yeah, sure, I stopped him. But in the process, I caught a glimpse of the bigger picture. The stone was just a piece of something much worse. I couldn't shake the feeling that all I had done was delay the inevitable. That I was just one insignificant reflection of what actually happened. And it started to drive me crazy. Eventually, that led me to Logan Chen and the Imperiati. And they helped me to understand what I'd seen, and what I could do about it, and what I'd have to leave behind. You do know that you sound like a raving fucking lunatic, don't you? I take no pleasure in any of this. There's no reward for me when I've done what I've got to do. There's no gratitude, no gold watch. It's just sort of a higher calling. <laughs> God, you're so full of it. I'm not a kid anymore. And you're not the sheriff. You don't get to play high and mighty with me. Linda. No, you won't be straight with me, fine. But I'm not an idiot. I know how misdirection works. I can see what you're trying to hide. Did you think I wouldn't notice the second you walked in here? You should be at least 80 years old, but you're barely older than me. How does that make any sense? In fact, none of the dates in your fucked up journal line up. I'd say it's pure lunacy, except... Here you are. The wrong age. So what are you implying? I'm saying you might be Sam Green. But you're not the Sam Green I knew in Cedar Hills. You're someone else. Aren't you? That's why he thought he had broken their camera. Because the Sam Green, he broke the camera. But in Linda's version, they dropped it by accident. For every path taken, there exists another. Taken by a shadow self. Another reality. Another world. Worlds so close, they bleed together. Do you see? The timelines I chose were special. The bleed strong. The entity straining against the edges of our world. I didn't need Frank Stone's mortal vessel, after all. I only needed the most perfect versions of his essence, trapped on celluloid, projected at 24 frames a second. Frank Stone will be reborn. Okay, hey, back to 1980s again. Are we with Linda? We are with Linda. <laughs> After escaping from the apparition of Frank Stone earlier, we got separated from Bonnie. Robert is back in town. I me is Chunky Salsa. Uh, Linda's in the future. Uh, sorry, Chris is in the future. And... We're in trouble. Where is everyone? Okay, we have a door there. Come on. Squeeze through there and under there as well. 
Oh, I, I thought I was. Hey, never mind. a way to actually go. Yeah, looks like. say what it opens but we'll take it anyway uh, right keep our eyes open Oh, I was going to say, any of these lockers we could possibly open, and yes, yes there is. My darling, oh, come on. Whoever's locker this was had some serious issues. My darling Franklin Norman, it upsets me when you don't write back. If you aren't sick, you needn't be withdrawn with me. Tell me everything, my dear. You know whatever happens, I'll always be there for you. Nothing in all the world could ever stop me from loving you. Three weeks ago, you told me making friends was hard. Every time they open their mouths, all you can feel is insects crawling under your skin. Every vapid look forces you to nod and smile, and pretend we're listening to what they say. You are too important to be wasted on them, and one day you'll find that place I've always told you about, where you can truly appreciate how much smaller they've always been. Yeah, that's certainly a re a unusual letter. Oh. We can imply possibly it was to rank stone. Hmm. Let's continue forward. Oh, bloody hell. Camera angles and it can be a little bit funny sometimes. So we had a pressure gauge there we could have a look at. If I fix these boilers, that should shut off the leak. Oh, I see. Gotta be around here someplace. So that's where the leak is over there. Okay. Keep our eyes open. We're looking for parts to potentially fix the boiler. Those steam jets are gonna burn my face off. But that's my only way out. duct tape over there. Anything? No. Can we check? No, we can't check the various lockers either. One of this it's probably somewhere back in the other room, I'm guessing. Oh, there's another letter. Oh, we can't interact with that. Oh. 
He is watching us. Lovely. Alright, let's go back and check the other room. Maybe I'm mistaken. This didn't seem like there was anything... Oh! Speaking of. Okay, there is a part. Okay. One to go. Oh, wait. Actually, didn't I see another one of those back in the first room? Ah, yeah, I did. You're coming with me, buddy. Okay. Oh, okay, we just slide them onto the end. Can't waste time. Promising. Okay, fairly straightforward. Collectibles. Doesn't seem to be the case. Oh, shit, we're back in the kind of the sewer tunnel system. A... Oh, it's the dog's leash. Merlin, that was the dog's name. God, if I ever get out of this maze, I'm going to take Bonnie's advice and leave Cedar Hills. See New York. Fall in love. Fall out of love. Just live a little. And we have a blood trail. Of course we have a blood trail. Animal cages. Oh, are we heading... I hope this is not leading us back to the furnace. Spaces. Can barely breathe. Feeling very comfortable at the moment. And I'm finding more ways potentially to go forward. Oh! It's not going to be that easy, is it? Oh! Apparently it is. I think judging from that symbol, that might mean there's a cinematic. Which means we should probably do a quick little bit of an exploration first. This is just showing, 
This is like the trinket box that we always find lying around. Oh, this is gets this gets us into that room. Okay. Is there a trinket in here? Mm. Oh shit. Well that's a lovely wall painting. And that can be moved. Another diary of Frank Stone? Fuck. 1962. This is Frank Stone's journal. I have not heard from her. I did as instructed, but for weeks I have been left alone. Have I failed? Did I not perform my purpose as I was told? Five names I have taken, but I feel no closer to the path. And now she has stopped giving me more. Am I finished? Is there no more evil left to conquer? How am I to know if I am ready? I do not feel it. Every night I dream of the forest, of the darkness all around me. I am afraid... Too scared to move forward or cry out, because it stands beyond the fog. Sometimes I can see their shapeless forms writhing in the flames like snakes. The hiss of their screams burn my ears. If they are evil, why do they scream? Do they feel such fear when their death is righteous? Do they mock me to make me doubt? I think of Dorothy, how she, how she slept. She did not seem evil to me. Her face was cold. It reminded me of Ma. How can I know the difference? Ma was not evil. What made Dorothy different? I think of that pig George with his whore Joyce. How they wallowed in each other's sin with such pleasure and felt no uncertainty with them. I am conflicted and it frustrates me. How am I to know evil alone? How can I be sure of see the hills has not been lost to sin? Could I not just destroy them all and purge the town completely? I will not act without instruction. I stand alone in the forest, waiting to reach the other side. If I cry out, I will be lost. Finally, she has come back to me. Oh, this is a few months later. And she is happy. I have well exceeded her expectations. She is more certain now that I am worthy and that the path through the forest will reveal itself to me. She, share, she says she has found the root of evil, the source of the rot that has eaten out of the town. I sit beneath its very foundations. Howard Tester is the, leave, eve of, blah, is the leader of a wicked coven. From him the branches of evil stretch out and infect everything. But he is beyond my righteous judgement. Although he rots in a pit of hell, his spawn still lingers here. They are destined for evil that outweighs what I have dealt with before. Just as I am destined to stop them, for this is my calling. Four names, four more trials. I must conquer. He tells me not to rush. I cannot make a mistake. I will not fail. I will use the very fires that Tester birthed to carry out my task. 
I will turn his creation into the thing that destroys his legacy. I will purify it as I will this town. She tells me not to doubt. What I dream of, to embrace the fog and the fire as one. To become Enkidu. I must let go of my doubts and mold myself with that part of myself I fear. Man and beast. Metal and flesh bound by fire. Then I will reach the other side and see what it is to be eternal, to be divine. I know what it is to believe. Through the forest the path is clear and the fire awaits for me. And we have three names, sorry, four names. I wonder if the names mean anything. DP, BK, LR, and JR. I may possibly is the JR. But the other three, I'm not too sure. What if Jaime was always destined to die? We'll have to look back at the cutting room floor to see if or what the what would happen if we chose to flee. Oh my god, this this place is so fucked. Oh, we found another hiding place of Frank Stone. And we found another of the relics. This one of the Doctor, it seems. What the hell are these things? I, Dwight, oh, DP, Dwight Allen Parker, write this as my last will and testament. The last time anyone saw me was on the 16th of February, 63. I'd spent the afternoon drinking with Rusty, Daryl, and a few other guys down at Cedar Creek. By the time it started getting dark, I was pretty wasted, and when Rusty tried to get me to move my butt, I got kinda mad and shoved him, which was dumb. Brother, have I paid for it. Rusty got mad and left. So did the other guys. Guess they figured I'd sleep it off and find my own way home. I don't know how long it was I was asleep, but when I awoke, this guy was there. A big, tall guy. It was real, it was real dark, but I could see, still see him staring at me. Looking right through me. Holy mother of pearl. I think I'm this underground. Is, this is awful. I hear noises above me and it sounds like machines, like a factory or something. I might be in the mill. I've seen the guy a few times. Those damn eyes staring at me. I hear him whispering stuff but don't know what he's saying. I think he's going to kill me. I'm so scared. If you ever read this letter, tell Rusty I'm not mad at him. It was my fault. So that's DP. So this was back... Can we, can we take the knife? I would like to take the knife, please. I know it's just, just an apparition, but it would make me feel a hell of a lot more comfortable. Can we crouch? Yes, no, maybe... Uh, oh! Yep, this door will open from this side, won't it? Yes, it will. Oh. Back where I started? Okay, then. <sighs> ah, Christ.
Hey, Chris. Do you know her? Ah, uh, yeah, I think everyone's confused right now. Your mom? But that's... How is that possible? You're talking about Bonnie Rivera, right? Yes, yeah, she was... She was just here, but we, we, we were... Ugh. My mom died a few weeks ago. No. No, 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 no. We, we were in the mill. We were just shooting. We, we just finished the movie. What the hell? Uh-oh. Get away from the center of the room. There's this thing. It's, it's, it's trying to kill me. What the hell is going on here? Who the fuck is she? After I lost you, I, I found this place and she was just here. How'd you get here? I, I, I don't know. I, I think I was brought here. Why? I don't know! Stan. You don't want to be here. Trust me. You came here in this? I, I think so. Do you think it can also take you back? Ah, uh, I don't think you really want to go in there. Also, I think those rings are going to start moving again. Nobody's making you do anything. But, uh, right now it's not so safe here either. We should go. Uh... I don't think that's a good idea. Whoever came after me is still out there. Uh... We gotta go find Linda. Linda? Do you know Linda? Linda Castle? Ah, oh, I get it now. You're a diehard, huh? You follow her here? Follow her? No, we came here together. Sure, you did. Where is she? I need to see her. Look, I don't usually like to get involved in any weirdo stalkery kind of shit, but I could be persuaded to make introduction. The price is right. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I thought those rings were going to stop moving again. Thickin' balls. Safety. Okay. Uh, we're in the middle of the rings. <laughs> oh. No, no, no. Shit, we gotta go. Let's go, let's go, let's go! That's gonna be Augustine, isn't it? <laughs> I have a feeling that that's Augustine. Oh, well, meanwhile, Jesus, the stories are like really intertwining right now. Oh, yeah, we have the video camera again, which means Frank Stone's gonna reappear, isn't he? Oh, hey, hey, 
okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. No, it's really not, but... We're all gonna die here. There's no way to escape. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. Bonnie, I'm so sorry. He's... He's mi hermanito, and he's gone. Are, are you... I'm okay. Yeah, I'm okay. How are you so calm right now? I'm not. But I know that the only way we're gonna get through this is if we can just keep it together. Just for a little while. What is that thing out there? No idea. But I know it's bad news. And we gotta get as far away from it as possible. Great idea. So how the fuck do we do that? There's the storm drain. That could get us out. If we're lucky, we might be able to find a way in from this chamber. It's coming. Uh, here we go again. Oh, never mind. What is it? What do you see? I don't see anything. Doesn't mean it's not there. Oh. Just when I thought I had a handle on this place. How did we... We just had a fate change where we managed to escape from the figure. Without any interaction from us. Ah. I wonder then if there was an option where we didn't escape from the figure. And how we would choose that fate. Interesting. Getting lost in here is like putting your brain through an egg slicer. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, nothing. I, I was just thinking that if someone asked me to explain what happened back there, I, I wouldn't even know where to start. This night just keeps going and going. Yeah. But you know something? We were here for hours and everything was totally normal. Well... You know what I mean. Things only started going off the rails when Sheriff Shithead showed up. You don't know that he's got anything to do with it. You don't know that he doesn't? Wait, Sheriff, you don't mean Sam Green, do you? You know him? Great. If Sheriff Green and Linda are here, you've got to take me to them, please! I don't know if we should really be traipsing around the place right now. We'll just stick together. We'll be fine. Let's go find them. So... Are, uh, are, are Linda and Sheriff Green, um, are they looking for me? Why would they be looking for you? I was just with them, with Linda. When? Before I came here. Sure. Never mind. So we kind of have put together the story of how the film pieces came together. Madison got hers from Bonnie, most likely. Obviously, Linda's always had hers. Stan here got his from Sam's son, Robert. Through some sort of shady deal while he was vulnerable. a light that's not actually illuminated. Stan, you're in my way. Thank you very much. Wow, an actual normal room. I'll be damned. We have plenty of items to interact with. Ah, the clones of Augustine from their many different worlds. Probably. Oh, it's a trickster. And it needs a key, apparently. Okay. Oh. Isn't... Keepsakes of past victims 
which can become protected Isn't that the locket from 63 that Sam found? found? Wait, wait, I, I know this. D this was... No, no, I can't. Can't what? This belonged to one of Frank Stone's victims. Frank Stone? A killer. From the mill? But what is it doing here? I've seen it too. There was a book here that explained how it would offer some sort of protection or something. I didn't even think it was real, but... So, should, like, one of us wear it for protection? Hey, uh, maybe let the guy who almost got killed back there have a little extra insurance, huh? Uh... Yeah, sure, why not? I um, was almost going to give it to Chris, but yeah. I'll be taking this. We've all been through a lot tonight. I don't think anyone deserves it more than anyone else. But I found it, so... It's mine now. Chris thinks you're being selfish. Chris, you have a lot of problems. That's boring. Still, can't judge a book by its cover. The Etymology of East England. A historian specializing in the East of England. John D. Dollard actually literally wrote the book on the history of the nation's towns with his door-stopping Encyclopedia of East England. So the hidden meanings of the towns. Key. Hello. Now that's not boring. Blood may be that, that which binds us to this world. For upon the spilling of his life's blood shall a man find himself moving into the next. Then why, if a soul may naturally move from one reality into a higher one by the shedding of this blood, should we be surprised to learn that such shedding may draw the gaze of that higher reality? We might therefore conclude it is simply the act of taking life, not any passage of our souls that brings these worlds together. In so doing, we might form our own gates between this world and the other, and in doing so, perchance move through them while we yet live. Oh, what wisdom we might glean from the worlds of the ancients. What knowledge might be but a single sacrifice away. How to return is another matter, if the death of our own. And we did pick up this key. More oh. secret exits. That is pretty slick. Hmm. Yeah, sure. A secret passage. Why not? Yeah, the man has got plenty of those. Oh, the help camera angles. Come on, play nice.
Okay, this looks like it's the way forward. Judging from the icon, which means what is along this way? Oh, a long corridor. Huh. Oh, probably from when Frank Stone was a psychiatric patient when Augustine got him out. Yeah, back in 61. This is Dr. Augustine Lieber conducting court-mandated psychological session 5 with patient Frank Stone. March 28th, 1961. Wait, that's Augustine. But 1961? An attack that's on an over orderly. 60 years ago. Perhaps we could salvage this. Tell me, do you ever feel as though you have a higher calling. This instinct of yours to inflict pain on others, to punish them, I don't believe it is wholly errant. These sessions are all about taking responsibility, Frank. Not just for your past, but for your future, too. Yes, you have a future. And it could be boundless you simply have to trust me that's not ominous at all oh we have the container of trinkets once again oh we have Getting their name, the Hunchback. Um, twins are creepy. The That's twins, just a fact. yeah, the twins. <laughs> yep, ah, uh, that's the what? Oh, relic, or trinket, I should say. The sacrificial knife. Struggling against the darkness, I feel its hooks. Pulling me deeper into the abyss. And we are heading back along this way. Okay, give me just a moment. We'll get ourselves back to that doorway. This is the one. Yeah, give me just a moment. I'm gonna go get myself another drink. So, I will be right back. Sorry about that, folks. Right, we are back. Ah, let's go through door number one. Door theater? You need to understand. Why should I? I don't even know you. Linda! I'm so 
so glad you're okay. You're not gonna believe what happened. I found this totally crazy room, and this girl just came out of nowhere. Maddie, listen. This is not the Sam Green I knew from Cedar Hills. He is an imposter. We cannot trust him. I will admit. Time, distance, and a great deal more than you could know are between us. But whoever I am to you, you can trust me. You have to. Give me one good reason. You've seen Augustine's archive. She's not just collecting every piece of the film you made. She's collecting every piece of that film that could have ever potentially existed. What is that even supposed to mean? Things are really weird right now. So everyone's voted the other way, we'll let it go that way and see what happens. You can't prove any of this. You're just not giving us any sort of concrete evidence or answers. Just doubt. It's a complex situation. Augustine made it very simple. Give her the film, she helps us. And that doesn't make you suspicious? Yeah, it does. But I don't trust you, either. Linda? Linda! What? What happened? We were in the mill, and... What? You're so old! Oh boy. This, uh, this kind of thing, it, it can happen, sometimes. <clears throat> Hooray! Stan, you're back! Oh, we missed you! Is this the movie you made? Yeah, it is. Maybe we shouldn't be watching Technically, this. Technically, I'm the director. You got your piece of the film strip? Yeah. All right, let me see it. What's so important about these film strips? How can we be sure that he's not just trying to take them for himself? We can't, but I guess we have to take that chance. Take the chance a little faster, please. Maddie? I need to see the actual film. What? Where is it? No, 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 no. It was right here. It, it was right in here. Do you still have yours? So, uh, show it to me. Show me what you took from my son! I can't yeah. do that. You can't do that? I... kinda... sorta... might have already made a deal with Augustine. I, it was before anybody else got here! I... I just went ahead! I'm sure this is not at all going to come back to bite us in the ass. I mean, we put them all in that tin, but we hadn't actually finalized the deal. But she sleight of handed all of them. You fucking weasel, you are lying to us from the second we got here. Come on now, it wasn't personal. <sighs> Unfucking believable I didn't even know you. Augustine just... You know, pay me a little extra to hang around, keep you company. It sounded fun. <laughs> hey, you get what you wanted? You done with this fucking game? If she's had all the pieces of the film this whole time, why does she keep us here?
And... Oh. Yeah, cause the camera was still rolling. It's faster now. No! No! <laughs> no! No! Oh! Oh my God! Don't think she's actually meant to be dead. Mom! No. No, that's not what happened. Was Linda here gonna be an unreliable narrator? It didn't happen in her world, in her version. That never happened. Never. I uh think it's about time I just kinda made my exit. <laughs> Good. The gang's all here. We were in the old machine shop. That's where Chris and Jaime and I found a way into Frank's hideout and... That was from... I know. Stay right here until I come back. Do you understand? But Dad... Oh, we're back in control of Sam. That's been a, been a long time. Find the teenagers. Yet. Oh, fuck. Hi, Bonnie. Don't listen to me, I can't protect you. And I just can't trust that you're gonna listen to me. I'm sorry. No. 
I'm sorry. Back here, a nightmare repeating itself. I gotta find them. And we don't have the video camera to protect ourselves. We have a gun. I don't think the apparition of Frank Stone is really going to care. Oh, video camera. Oh, ask and you shall receive. kids and their damn movie. This isn't right. It feels like he's here. Spirit. Unless this was just for where the relic was located. Looks like she's gotten herself injured. Shit, yeah. Um, this looks like the way she went, but... I have a 
quick look around. There's another relic over there. These monstrosities are oh, everywhere. Oh, we picked up the wraith before. No time to waste on this. Sucked him into the video camera. Did we stop it? Is it is it is it over? No. There's still one thing left we gotta do. In the film, man. Now Augustine has all the film. That's a good chapter title.
Oh, she stands fucking off. Now you hold on a goddamn second. What the fuck? Get off me! Do you understand what you've done here? Do you have any idea? Who cares what she does with this shitty little B-movie? Just let it go, old man. Your joke! And here's the punchline. I did no such thing. Like hell you didn't. You promised me. It is no fault of mine if you misinterpreted what I promised you. My mom just died. You knew I was grieving and you took advantage of me. A traveler is only as strong as its vessel. You got a hell of a lot to answer for and a lot of hell to pay. Wait, what? Okay, these are uh, decisions are being a bit strange here. Hmm. I did actually suppress it though, that's no! the problem. That's the problem. Just uncomfortable.
Stan, maybe you should have taken uh, their idea. Well, the massacre at Geralt Manor was, uh, not mistaken. that he's not currently, currently bound to physical laws. And that he'll be able to get through those, uh... Oh! Generator. I always wondered if we would, um, somehow end up pulled into the Entity's realm. Oh, before the time runs out. Great! That's all we needed. And we'd end up having to play a mini-game of Dead by Daylight. Okay, we have one bit for the generator. We need a second bit for the generator. Um, oh. A brand new part. I'll be taking that. Elevator might be working again now. Oh, prepared all the generators. button. Uh, we're going down. We want to be down on the first floor, or the ground floor. Hopefully there's not a basement, and in fact there's probably a basement. Shit, it's a basement. <laughs> Could we? Are we gonna be playing our own mother? How the fuck did I ever end up here? Oh, this is gonna end. Madison. I'm so glad we're finally able to talk one-on-one. -on -one. The fuck are you? What have you done? Ah, uh, yes. A regrettably unavoidable series of misfortunes. I don't expect you to understand everything at play here, but suffice it to say, one cannot make a proverbial omelette without breaking the proverbial eggs. Eggs? We're not fucking eggs. You, you lied. You cheated, manipulated, and, and now there's some kind of horrible monster hunting us. I have never lied to you. Give me a fucking break, lady. I can make your nightmares go away. I will make them go away. All this pain. 
all this trauma gone. You just need to tell me you want me to. Yeah, like we're really gonna trust you. Just think it over. Go fuck yourself. Then I'm so very sorry for you. No, you're not. Oh, we're back in the reliquary. And so is he. Yep, uh, I'll, yep, yep, I'll run. Don't need to tell me twice. Okay, so this is getting... I don't know if the Twitch, Twitch integration might be broken when it's trying to veto decisions. Because that's twice now that we've tried to veto and it's not allowed us to. Hmm. Yeah, because that's what happens. Yeah, distracted Frank Stone from Maddie. Yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> oh, but Chris came back. Is she gonna try and go through? Be back to her timeline. Uh, 
guess that would make sense. I mean, we have a murderer on this side. I mean, it's better than staying here. Never mind. The cursed pocket mirror. Oh, the pocket mirror Augustine gave her. The free item we got. It was actually cursed. That freebie we got all that time ago. Oh, much so much for free gifts after Oak all. Stone is finally the man he was meant to be. My champion. A killer worthy of the entity. The bleed between worlds is open, split apart by sacrifice and violence. All will be swallowed by the entity's power. And what of me? The one who served up this world for it to devour. I'll oblige as its faithful servant, existing only to drink in its knowledge, share in its glory. I am Augustine Lieber, and I have brought the entity to your world. Yeah, I don't think the entity cares to share. Feels like we're near the end. Oh yeah, because the entity's here. Yeah, the entity is definitely here. Yeah, pretty much. I... In fact, it's very likely that her own champion oh, will kill her. Times of toil and torment, all for this beautiful moment of sublime perfection. Almost unbearably so. Yeah, I... I bear to you the offerings. I humbly await my reward for loyal service. Unending. Yep. Yep. What did he think was going to happen? So, I think it's safe to say we got the bad ending. I think we only have Sam left. And he's crazy.
Quit while you're ahead, Sam. You never learn to quit while you're ahead. You never learn to take good advice. Well, it started with Sam. I guess it's gonna end with Sam. So why start now? Oh. Then we have something about the path in the forest and something about the fire at the end. And are we now going to be playing a mini game of Dead by Daylight? Cedar Hills. Are we sure this is a good idea? This is the only way we know for certain. And we have to know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sam, Robert, and Linda developed the film. So now we're seeing the consequences of our choices in the, like, from earlier on. <gasps> it's in there, all right. What do we do with it? We, uh, we separate it. We each take a piece. Then we take them as far away from each other as we possibly can, and we never, never let them come back together again. Yeah, that, uh, didn't go according to plan, did it? Thanks for Linda for getting that fact. That can't be our only option. I wish I had a better idea. But we have to live with what happened. And the Riveras. The Riveras. We can't let it hurt anyone else. Okay. Oh, Robert. If you only knew. next is my responsibility. Mine. You just need to go live your life. Never think about this again. Never tell anyone about what happened. You were never part of it. You don't know anything. You understand? where I am. Then memory floods back and I know. Our world is gone. Consumed by a living realm beyond space, beyond time. Thanks to me.
Oh, Claudette. Jake. We're in the realm. Right. Hello. I don't suppose any of you... No. No, this isn't right. And there's Meg as well. Whether killing or surviving, the Entity will play with our souls for all eternity. An endless hunt of fear and hope, pain and sacrifice, from which even death is no escape. And now, let the trial begin. <laughs> and the credits roll. We completed the story. But it was not a good ending. Oh yeah, I'm sure she is also there. I don't think I saw Augustine around, around a campfire, but... I'm certain she is also there. I don't think the Entity's gonna let her get away that easy. Why only kill her once? So let's see how, let's think about how things could change. We could possibly get Jaime to escape, which might save Bonnie, because Bonnie has to live for Madison, and it seemed like we couldn't save Bonnie at all. Unless Jaime sacrifices himself in Bonnie's place instead. But then we also have Madison in the future in 2024. And we can also have Chris. Well, yeah. I'm guessing Jaime, Linda, and Chris should all survive to go together to put their movie together. To create, like, the original timeline. But that would mean either going to the drugstore or not uh, negotiating with Augustine in the curiosity shop. Because that uh, pocket mirror, well, we saw what happened there. Hey, Sophia. Thank you for the follow. Ah, oh, we're just getting to the end of the first, well, the bad ending to the casting of Frank Stone. I think what we will do is probably take a break here. We'll end this with the ending we've received. 
and then tomorrow we can have a look at the cutting room floor. Oh, we have an after credit scene. Back at the temporal device here. Another Augustine? Facing off against another Augustine. We've unlocked the cutting room floor. We can now look at our current path and jump to any previously played points and see how the outcome changes. Ah, and now we now have unlocked Plunderer's Instinct. Okay. We'll have a quick look at the cutting room floor. We can see our current path. So everything ends with the figure emerging. That is the final step. But there are actually quite a few steps that will lead to the after credit sequence. Oh, and it looks like there's a few options. Sorry, let's go all the way to the beginning. Oh, these are chapters. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of paths here. Seems there was a rather than using the crowbar, we could go another way. I wonder 83%? I wonder if that means how many other people have chosen this path so far. More people chose the ramp than the ladder. And we managed to... I suppose you could... We blinded Frank Stone. But we could probably miss or just injure him. We all we blinded him with a flashlight. Yeah, tutorial again. Yeah, it doesn't mention what the percentages mean.
Most people cho chose to pick up Linda, it seems. We drove on. But it seems we would probably end up in dialogue with Linda here. Before heading to the manor. Interesting. Okay. Tell you what, we'll, we'll back out. Because we've, ha we've got... A ending. And it's a good point to end session three. When we come back tomorrow, and we might come back earlier, so that we can actually have a, a vast look at the cutting room floor, so that we can see some of the other numerous endings. What we'll do is just make use of the cutting room floor and choose some different options and see where that goes. I might look into what's happening with the veto option, or I may choose to disable Twitch integration. We'll see, I'll see if I can find out what's up with that, because we could have potentially saved Madison's life there, and Linda's. <laughs> but no matter, these things happen. And it was interesting to see what occurred when we made those choices all the same. But yeah, thank you all for joining me. Thank you for joining me this evening. As I say, we will take a break now with the ending that we've gained. But yeah, when we come back in session four tomorrow, we will play around with the cutting room floor and see what other directions the plot can take us in. But that's for tomorrow. I hope you'll all, all enjoy the evening, however you choose to spend it. And yeah, if I don't see you tomorrow, hopefully I'll see you at the beginning of the new week, when we'll probably be playing some other games. We'll see what the week brings. Either way, once again, I'm going to start rambling, so thank you for joining me. And hopefully I'll see you for more content going into the future. Until then, though, I hope you all take care. Bye-bye now.